Welcome back, fuckers. Right, today we're going to run through the, uh, the air combat modes, or ACM modes, for the F-18 Hornet. How to do them, what buttons you need, and what they do. It's going to be nice and quick uh, to help you when you get into the merge against um, AI aircraft or players in PvP. So let's quickly run through some of the controls you're going to need. So let's do that now. So we're going to go into adjust controls. So we are going to use select gun. Okay, so you should have select gun, select sire, sparrow, amram, and side one. You should have those bound to something on your HOTAS by now, hopefully, so you can quickly change between your weapon modes nice and quick. So select gun is going to automatically default you into a uh, ACM mode, which is the gun foresight. Okay, and then you're also going to need sensor control switch forward, sensor control switch aft, and undesignate slash nose steering switch. Okay, you're gonna need those bad boys there. So first one we're gonna go th is gun. So when you're in air to air mode, okay, you're gonna make sure you got air to air selected. Okay, um, otherwise your uh, ACM modes may not work correctly. So just confirm if it's not working properly, double check you're in air to air and not air to ground. Okay, first point of call. So we're gonna go to select gun. And here we go, we've got our first ACM mode. So you can see the radar now is gone to ACM mode. ACM is boxed. And you can see our radar sweep is doing some funky stuff there. Okay. So what this mode is, as soon as an aircraft flies into this dashed circle, okay, as soon as a aircraft flies into there or we put an aircraft into that circle, our radar is automatically going to lock them up when they're within, I think it's five nautical mile. Okay, five nautical mile the radar is going to pick up any contact in that circle. Okay, so if you want to quickly uh, lock someone up as they're flying through the HUD, you can just, no matter what you're doing, if you're in uh, AIM-120 mode, it doesn't matter, switch to gun and it will go into ACM mode straight away. That's option number one. Next one is going to be bore side mode. So you're going to press center select forward. All right, and it's going to put it into ACM mode, even though we've got the AIM-120 selected we're now in boresight mode with the aim 120 uh, so again if a target flies into this little dashed circle it is going to lock them up and we'll be able to uh, shoot a missile at them or shoot a gun whatever okay so boresight makes the circle right in the center of the hud you got to put the aircraft in that circle there for it to get a lock Okay, and then if we go so from bore site, so you got to select bore site first. So sensor select forward to get bore site, and then you go sensor select aft after, and it will put you in vertical scan mode. Okay, so again, you've got to get the uh, the aircraft in between these two bars, but it's looking above and below the aircraft. Okay, so that one there is uh, handy when you have lost tally. So you've lost them, you don't know where they are. You can switch it to vertical scan mode and maneuver your aircraft and just hope to God that uh, as you are flying around, they fly through and your radar picks them up. Okay, so that is uh, the joys of vertical scan. Vertical scan, more so used when you're trying to find someone, you've got no visual on them, you're trying to pick them up with the radar, is vertical scan. And to get out of ACM mode, you can either press the ACM button all right, on the uh, MFD, which, you know, it works, but uh, not the greatest. But the easiest way to get out without having to look down and press buttons is press nose steering. Undesignate nose steering, and it'll take you out of ACM mode back to uh, air-to-air -air mode. Okay, out of any, except if you're in a gun, if you're in gun mode, if you press uh, nose steering, it will uh, unlock the target. Okay, so if you pick up a target and you don't want to actually um, lock them, if you press nose wheel steering, it will undesignate that target, unlock them, and then it'll relock the next thing. Okay, or it'll relock whatever else is in the circle. It won't stagger through if there's like two aircraft. You know, it's um, better to go to boresight mode if you had like two aircraft in front of you, a friendly and a uh, bandit, rather than having gun mode where it's just a big circle. You want a bit more precise and go boresight and go, all right, friendly's there. Bandit's there, I want to lock the bandit. Bam, put the bandit in the circle and it will lock him. So it gives you a little bit more precision. Uh, the only other mode is the J-Hammocks. Okay, so if we go to, uh, 
uh, ACM mode out of there. Uh, the HMD, we turn it on here. Joint helmet mounted queuing system. Turn that on. And now we've got our uh, helmet mounted queuing. So we can do the same thing. We can go to bore site. You can see it says HACQ, helmet acquisition. So now when I move my head around, all I gotta do is put the bandit in the circle and it will lock them. So I can look at them and lock them up. See how when I move my head too far, it starts flashing. So as soon as you get the flashing, it means we're out of the uh, the limits of the radar and it will not lock them. So you've got to make sure that you've got a solid circle not flashing at you. You just look at them and the radar will do its thing and lock them up. And the other thing that I learned not too long ago is we're in helmet acquisition. So this is again, five mile. If they're within five mile, if you press and hold, sensor select forward long so just press and hold it come on there we go press and hold release goes to long range helmet acquisition so it bumps your range out um not sure on the exact range but it's more than five okay so you can lock up so if you've got a you're not getting them you're looking at them and it's not locking because they're too far away press and hold sensor select forward switch from helmet act uh, helmet acquisition to long range i'm guessing it stands for not exactly what it's still not exactly sure what it stands for but it extends the uh the range of your acm mode bore sight so that's also a really cool little uh little trick to know and then to get back to just normal helmet you just press sensor select forward again to switch back to helmet acquisition so last thing and we'll call this thing done uh when you are in or when you've got your j hammix on you don't have vertical scan mode so if i press sensor select forward to go to bore sight if i press sensor select aft it doesn't go to vertical scan because you've got your j hammix as your uh you know you slewed your radar to the reticle in your helmet so you don't get bore sight uh, sorry vertical scan with the uh helmet mounted queuing system enabled so if you're not if you're like oh man my fucking vertical scan don't work you probably got your uh, jhammix turned on so if you want vertical scan turn it off you get vertical scan turn on all right you do the same thing send select forward send select aft you get nothing okay it doesn't go to vertical scan so just be aware of that when you're switching between for your combat modes all right hope that explained uh what the modes are pretty straightforward very very powerful uh when you get in the merge the hornet is probably one of the better uh got one of the better acm uh mode suites i guess you could call it different versions uh compared to the uh, f-16 seems to be a little bit more a little bit better refined than uh, other aircraft that have got the acm modes as well so that's how you do it boys hope you liked it if you did you guys know the drill by now if you did like the video hit the like button so let me know that it uh it helped you out uh if you haven't already subscribed to the youtube channel it helps me out a fucking bunch we just cracked the 300 followers 300 subscribers whatever you want to call them uh thank you guys for being legends and doing that and uh lastly but not least i do stream on twitch monday to friday at 1300 australian western standard time so if you haven't already come on by check me out on twitch i got the link in the description down below if you don't know what the fuck twitch is it's a uh, live streaming platform uh, where I pretty much, you can watch me fly DCS real time and ask questions, give me shit, say that I'm terrible, all those things. Come in and uh, throw some banter down.